Hello guys, thank you for coming back. So today we are going to make register function. So to make that, first we need to download a couple of things. The first one is body parser. Uh, this is Node.js body parsing middleware. So when we make a post HTTP request, we send the JSON. So at the time, this body parser will get that information from that. So to use the body parser, first we need to download body parser by using npm. So in here, we will type npm install body parser. And I want to give the specific version for this one, 1.18 and 3, and save. So now I want to bring in the body parser in the index.js body body parser require body parser and we also need to download a cookie parser so to download cookie parser, we also need to type npm install cookie parser one dot four dot three and save. Uh, if we go to website of cookie parser, so cookie parser will do parse cookie, and so to use that. So we can use by app dot use and good parser like this. So we switch over to our editor. So in here to use uh, first I'm gonna bring out the cookie parser in here. And then to use body parser and cookie parser as our middleware, so we will do like this app use body parser to use the query string. We can do like this, and we will keep this one not to get any deprecation warning. And then we also do f dot use body parser dot json to get the json to be able to read the json and then we also do for the cookie parser like this and we also need to download one more thing called postman so which is a complete api deployment environment so we can easily download it by going to the postman website yeah if we come here www.postman.com and in here you can click just this one and you can click this one to download it so in here i'm gonna wait for you to download it this one and if you are done downloading this one so now we are ready to make the register function so we switch over to our editor again and then in here so if we imagine how we do register in normal website uh, first of all, we need to type all, all of our information in there so that means we do request our information from re from client to the server so after the server get all of the information we gave so they will take care of all of the inside thing and then the server will respond back to client so they are doing a routing so that's why we need to use the routing in here 
So we will do routing by typing app and this time we will do post request and then we will type this one register so so we if we do request the uh, order locations are going to this part and then we will do request and response and error function and if this request is successful we need to give this response status 200 so we will send the positive response so in here uh, if the client give us the request in here request uh, we will get the request but that request uh, will be JSON so to be able to read the JSON we need to use the body parser so so after reading that a request so we need to put that information into our mongodb so now we need the mongodb knowledge in here but first we need to bring in our user model we made in the past of uh, videos so by doing this one const user require model and user uh, but we will change this name into models then from from model it's because there are models in here so in model and we just change this one too and then again we're gonna put all the request into user model to do that new user we got this from here and the request body so we can use like this because the we have downloaded the body parser so all of the information we put into mongodb and then we can save it like this so now all the information we gave from the client is saved in the mongodb and after saving it we can get error for the or user data and then if there was an error here we just return response json success force and error or if we don't have any error we can just return this one so now we are going to use the postman to uh, give the request turn on the postman and we click the request and we just go on here we need to click the post and our port is now 5000 so we will do 5000 HTTP local host 5000 and the location is this one this one and then in here we need to do some configuration before making request so go to body then we need to click row and we need to click json so in here now we need to think what kind of information do we need to give so if we go to user so we have name and email and password and last name and yeah just so we can give this four things first 
to see what's gonna happen so switch over to postman again so in here we need to write yeah, okay, so. So first email. I'm gonna write my email. Email.com and password. You can just do this report five six seven. And then name. There is some problem in here. I slash. And then actually I didn't trigger the server yet. So first we need to turn on our server by typing node index.js. So our DB is connected and then we need to do the postman again here. You can just send click send. Just for a moment, I will go to we'll go back to our terminal, I editor. So in here, I think it's better to uh, give the data here like this, and then success true. So we're gonna do that in Postman. In here, I'm gonna change six, and then I'm gonna click send. Oh, why it's not working maybe <laughs> I'm sorry maybe I made some mistakes so I need to go back to uh, editor again here um, um, this problem I need to make this up I'm sorry I'm gonna do this again and then I need to do postman button so click send Uh, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I don't know why it just happened like this, but if I save my uh, MongoDB here, actually it worked really well, like all of the data I typed before is saved in here, like this, so I think there is uh, some bug in Postman I guess. So, but actually what we want was just to put our data into MongoDB in here, so it was successful. So if I find the problem later, I'm gonna tell you. And yeah, thank you for watching this video and see you later. Thank you.